the P I N K Y show. Hey, it's your girl Pinky P I N K Y, and I'm so fly. And today, Pink Panthers, it's another story time. Story time. Story time. Story time. Story time. Story time. Okay. It's another story time. Before it starts the story time, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe, and turn on your post notifications. Now, now you guys, I'm not going to lie. I have done this story time at least four times. This is literally my fourth time doing this. So hopefully, you know, in the name of Jesus, it uploads on YouTube. No, you know, technology manufactured happens. It won't get deleted. It won't do nothing. It won't stop recording. So let's just pray to God that we get through this again for the fourth time. Okay. Now, this story time is about uh, my piercing story time. But I especially want to tell you guys about my nose pierce ad adventure because I recently got my nose pierced December 23rd to be exact, two days before Christmas. So yeah. But before I talk about my nose adventure, I want to talk about my other piercings. Because as you can see, I have my first uh, ear pierce, my second, my cartilage, and my nose. So yeah, don't worry. More piercing is coming. This is not going to be my last piercing. So yeah. So yeah, let's get to it. Now, at first, all I wanted was just my first ear piercing, my cartilage, and I was done with ear, um, I was done with piercing. I was done. Finito. Finished. Andalite. Oh, oh, oh. Like, I'm done. Period. Like, you know, like, I'm done. I'm done. But the more I have seen other piercings, the more I want them. Like, nose pierced, I want to. I wanted a nose, my nose pierced for like the longest now, like for the longest. I finally got it done. So I'm so glad about that. I'm not going to lie. Tupac was one of my inspirations. Um, other people, the way it looks cute. It's like my inspiration. I have it on my left side, as you can not tell. I feel like I low-key should have got it on my right side. Because, you know, my mama told me, get on your right side. I should have listened to her because like I mean I still look it still looks cute on my left side but I feel like it should look cute on my right side because actually we're gonna get to that but yeah I want my nose pierced my belly button pierced more etc etc so yeah but let's start with my first ear pierce now I don't remember how I felt about it but I because I had I got my first ear pierce when I was a baby so my mom said oh uh, you was crying, so I guess it hurt you. Yeah, you didn't like it. So, yeah. So, I don't remember what had happened, though, how I felt. She said I was crying. So, that means, ladies and gentlemen, it hurt. But, so, this is how I got my second. So, first, after my first, like I said, I wanted my cartilage. So, one day, I saw my mama, because she got her cartilage pierced. I was like... Oh my god, mama, like, you look so cute. Like, what is that? She said, oh, I got my cartilage pierced. I'm like, that looks so cute. Like, I want one. So she was like, okay, when you get a little bit older, you get your cartilage pierced. Now, I would told myself, I was like, okay, when I'm 13, I'm going to get my nose pierced. Because I think she got her cartilage when I was like 11 or 12. So it wasn't that, like, you know, like. It was, like, that young. But, yeah. So, I was, like, okay. So, when I'm 13, I'm going to get my college pierced. Because, you know, 13, you know, that's your first year. You're a teenager. You know, you want to start off your teenage experience right. So, I thought. So, I was, like, okay. My college ear pierce is going to be a brand new start. Okay? So, a few days before... No, a few days after I turned 13, my mom was like, okay, we're going to go to the mall to get your cartilage ears pierced. So it was me, my mom, and our family friend. So we all went to the mall. Now, I recommend if you want to get your ear pierced, go to the mall. Um, I don't know if you can get your ear pierced at the tattoo shop. You probably can, but 
I would recommend you go to like a like a small place, like a mall or something to get your ear pierced. But yeah. So I went to the mall. Now we went to a couple of stores to see if they do Carlish ear pierce. Some said yes, some said no. So we went to this one store that did it. So my mom was like, hey, um, my daughter, she wants to get her Carlish ear pierced. So the lady was like, oh, how old are you? So yeah. Also, when you want certain like places pierced, you have to, you have to be is age uh restriction to it. So yeah. So I told her my age. I said, "Oh, I'm 13," and she was like, "Oh, well, you can't get your cartilage pierced done at your age. You have to be a little bit older." Now she did not tell me how old. She is like, was it 14? Was it 16? Was it 18? Was it 15? Was it 17? Was it 25? You know, like what age do I need to get it? So I didn't ask her. I think my mama did, but she really didn't say. I think she said 16. I don't know. She really didn't say age. So my mom was shopping. We used to like to store shopping for like earrings and stuff. So my mom was like, Oh, do you want to get your second pierce since we're here? Now, I really didn't want my second ear pierce. I don't know why. Like, it looked cute on her, but I was like, nah, I, don't, I just want my Carlos pierce. Now, my mom, she has the same pierces that, that I have. She has first, second, and cartilage. She doesn't have her nose pierced, but she has her first, her second, and her cartilage. So, I thought about it. I was like, hmm. How bad could it be? It's probably not going to be that bad. I might as well. I might as well get something done so I could get my second ear pierced. So I sat down. The lady cleaned my ear, you know, do, 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 do. And I saw her with this gun. I was like, oh, no, no, no. Now, that's another thing. When you trying to get your ears pierced, Make them use a gun. Make sure they use a gun. Don't let them use no dang needle on your dang ear. That's to say with nose, belly button, everything. When it comes to your nose, your belly button, or your body pierces, let them use a needle. But when it comes to your ears, let them use a gun. So remember, ears, gun. Other body move, other body parts, needle. Okay, so that's a warning. So, I saw her use this gun, and I was like, oh, my God. But I was trying to stay calm, because I'm like, okay, just stay calm. My mom was going to hold my hand, because I don't like needles. I don't like pain. So, yeah. Yo, as soon as she, well, first, no, at first of all, I was like, oh, so which side? I'm like, mama, I'm going to get both, because I'm the type. I like to get even. I don't like to do anything on my left if I ain't do nothing on my right. I don't like to do anything on my right unless I don't have anything on my left. So I was like, Mom, I'm going to get both. Baby, when I tell you, as soon as she put the gun to my ear, oh my gosh, I cried so hard. You know that cry, you be crying for like five minutes and you hear no sound. It be like... <gasps> That's exactly how I was. It hurt so bad. Five minutes, I was silent. Nothing came out of my mouth. Then I did a ooh. <laughs> that was the sound of my cry. Baby, it hurt so goddamn bad. Oh, my God. It hurt. Out of all my pierces, my second one hurt the most. Both my tears bust out of my face. So no, baby, no, no, that hurts so bad. I can't do it anymore. No, no, baby, it hurt. So you know, everybody would see me crying. Now I didn't like that because I don't like to see. I don't like. To, I don't like when people see me cry because. You know, to me, crying in front of people is they. I feel like people make you think, uh, make you see like you're weak. You're so sensitive. Which I am sensitive, but you will never know that because I'm not gonna cry in front of you. I'm not gonna show my emotions towards you. Like I don't play with that. I don't do that. So yeah. So that hurt. 
Now here we go with the cartilage. So when I turned 14, I got my cartilage done. So my mom, I don't know where she picked me up for school. She was like, oh, you want to go to the mall to get your cartilage pierced? I was like, bet, say less. I was like, where are we going? To the mall. Where are we going? To the mall. Now, if you guys don't know what song that came from, that came from Dorothy Explorer. Okay. That's my childhood. So, yeah. But anyway, so we went to the mall again. And this time, the store that I got my second ear pierce done, I didn't see it. I don't know if they closed it. My mama said they still have it, but... They just move it in another direction. I haven't seen it. And I have been to the mall recently. And I haven't saw that store since I got my second ear pierced. So I don't know if my mama really saw it or she thought she saw it or they just closed it down. But, yeah. So, anyway. So, we went to the stand where this lady was selling jewelry. Now, you know how, like, you go to the mall and people be trying to, like, pitch you something. They try to persuade you to buy their stuff, to buy their product. Well, this lady, she had her jewelry stand. So, I think my mama wanted to get, like, an ankle bracelet or something. She was looking at something. And, you know, my mama and the lady was making small conversation. So, my mom, she's like, oh, yeah, because, you know, we trying to figure out where... Uh, what place uh, to get her cartilage pierced because she wanted to get her cartilage pierced. So the lady was like, oh, I can pierce, uh, I can do that for her. So part of me was like, yes, but then part of me was like, you're going to do it where? You're going to do it in front of all these people? Because what if it hurts and I start crying again and people are watching me, they watching this lady, it pierce in my ears, you know, like, no. So she sat me on a bench. She got her little tools with her. And yes, it was in front of everybody. So, unfortunately, if I cried, people going to have to see me. So, maybe if I cry softer, like, shh, like, she not going to hear me. But, yeah. So, yeah. So, my mama asked me again. She's like, okay, which side are you going to get on? I'm like, mama, I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it on both. Like, duh, we don't have this conversation. So, yeah. So, she pierced it. And honestly, you guys, it really didn't hurt that bad. It really did it. Now, when I be telling people that, like, when people be asking me, like, oh, like, did that hurt? And I be telling them, no, people do not believe me. Because they're like, oh, because it's a bone and it's going to hurt. Well, I can't do pain. So if I'm telling you it didn't hurt, most likely it didn't hurt. Like, most likely it didn't hurt. Because, like, even when I ask people that got their college peers, they're like, oh, yes, it hurt. Girl, girl, girl. Well, I don't know what other things she used on me, but it didn't hurt. So, yeah. It didn't hurt. But, you know, yeah. So, that was my cartilage. Now, here we go to the nose pierce part, okay? So, as you guys have been saying, for a long time, for a while now, I've been wanting to get my nose pierced. I want to get my nose pierced. And, you know, like I said, Tupac was my inspiration. I He got it on his lip, so I wanted to get it on my lip. And plus, when I be seeing other people with their left, to me, it looks cute. I'm not going to lie. Like, I feel like on the right, it looks cute. But I feel like if you get your right nose pierced, it really looks cute when you have a hoop. When you have a stud, it, it looks like it's about to fall out of your nose. But when you get a hoop, it looks so cute. But with left, I feel like with a stud and with a hoop, it looks cute. So I went on my left. But honestly, you guys, I think I low-key shit it on my right because it low-key looks weird on me. I mean, it looks cute, but like, whatever it is, what it is. Maybe one day I'm going to get my right nose pierced. You never know. But you know, yeah. So for right now, I got my left nose pierced. So let me show you. As you can see, that's how it looks. So this is my left. And you know, when you see other people like this, when it's on their left, I thought it would be on this side. Because I wanted to for you to see it on this side. Because if you see it on this side, you can barely see it. But if you just if you see it on this side, you can see it. Because you know, it's like mirror, mirror vision. Like I'm looking like this, but if you looking at me, it's probably gonna be on this side, even though it's really on this side. It's complicated, but yeah. So 
yeah. But anyway, so here we go. So I went to a tattoo shop because, like I said, I don't know. I don't think malls and stores like that do uh do uh does like nose, belly budget, stuff like that. I don't think they do. So if I was you, if you want to get your nose pierced or other body pierces, I would suggest you go to a tattoo shop. But that's just me. If not a tattoo shop, go to a shop. But I will suggest you go to a tattoo shop. So I went to a tattoo shop. And, you know, when I think of a tattoo shop, I think of, like, Black Ink Crew. Like, you know, like, their shop is so, like, you know, has a lot of tattoos everywhere, you know, paintings and all that. This store was like that, but it was a little bit smaller. It's like, as soon as you go in, like, there you are. Like, you know, you this is like the... Like, at first you walk in, it's like a little, like, intimate room. Then you go to the back, and they do, like, the piercings, the tattoos, and all that. So, yeah. So, my mama came with me. She wanted to come with me. So, that's why it took me a long time, because my mom wanted to come with me. So, she came with me. So, she was like, oh, um, she wants to get her nose pierced, this, this, and that. So, you know, they're going to check for your ID. So, make sure you have your ID because they're going to check for your ID. So, you know, the guy checked for my ID. Now, it was actually cheap. It actually cost $20. Now, I thought it was going to be expensive because, you know, I've been watching YouTube and stuff like that. And they be acting like it be costing like $100 or something. So, I'm thinking it cost $100. He said, oh, it's 20 So, I'm like, hey, here you go. So, yeah. So, make sure you have your ID, because, like I said, they're going to check it for ID. So, you know, you know, I gave him my ID, and I gave him $20. He gave me back my ID. I had to sign some stuff. Yeah, you do have to sign your stuff, you know, something, something, something. So, yeah. So, we went to the back. So, he asked me which side I wanted to have my nose pretty on. So, I said left. My mama said right. My mama wanted me to be on my right, but low-key, I think I should listen to her because, like I said, it looks weird on my left, but I think I still look cute, though. But, yeah, I think I low-key should have got on my right. But, anyway, that's the side's point. So, you know, he was kind of listening to us debate, but I think he still did what I told him to do, so he still did on my right. So, shh. Anyway, so yeah, so like I said, so first, you know, he used the needle. So like I said, if you want your nose, your belly button, or all, or uh, uh, your body parts done, make sure they use the, make sure they clean it and they use the needle. Don't let them use no gun, don't let them use a gun on your dang nose or other parts. No, only let them use a gun when it comes to your ears, but when it comes to your body parts, let them use the needle, okay? I'm trying to tell you, make sure, and let them clean that too, because, you know, germs be spreading, and ain't nobody got time for that. So, yeah, so, you know, he did what he did, and that and that. Now, honestly, you guys, I didn't think it hurt. It probably pinched a little, but it didn't hurt. Like, it wasn't like, oh, my God, like, it hurt so bad. I thought it was going to pass out. No, it didn't hurt that bad. But, you know, it didn't hurt. So, yeah. But now I'm going to show you and tell you what he told me for your nose pierce, okay? Your nose ring, like, what to do, how to clean it, what you should do, this, is that. So, here we go. Okay, so here we go. Let me go to my notes. Okay, so um, he's uh, so um, I put uh, if you want your uh, to get a new nose ring, make sure you tell the person uh, sixteen gauge, but preferably eighteen gauge. So he told me he will prefer me getting an eighteen gauge. But he said if you get a 16 gauge, that's fine too. So 16 gauge, but prefer 18 gauge. Okay. Then I got uh then he also say remember uh when did you, uh when you got got it done? Because you know, now he told me a month should do, like a month, like once I clean it and it's healed, I should change my nose ring in a month. But I don't know. So 
like I said, I got it done December 23rd, two days before Christmas. So January 23rd should be the day I can take it out and switch and put a new nose ring in. But I don't know. So remember, so write down what day you got your nose pierced done so you can be aware of that. Um, then clean your nose for at least a month uh, with antibacterial soap slash neon spawn now make sure you have antibacterial soap now i use dial soap i use that to clean my nose but um yeah i use dial so i don't know but i think any soap should do but i use dial so if you want to do what i'm doing then dial soap should do but yeah clean for at least a month antibacterial soap slash neon spawn okay uh clean with soap dial like i said clean it twice a day for a month so you need to clean it twice a day for a month you can clean it morning and night uh mid afternoon nighttime as long as you clean it twice a day you should be good so make sure you clean it twice a day for a month um and if it gets affected uh by tea tree oil now in the name of jesus thank you god it didn't get affected mine didn't get affected but he said if it gets affected use tea tree oil so yeah um you can't sleep on the side you you can't sleep on that side to heal so since i got on my left side i can't sleep on my left side i have to sleep on my right so if you get it on your right side you can't sleep on your right you have to sleep on your left and if you have so yeah so whichever side you got it on don't sleep on that side now if you got it on both then i don't know what to tell you you might have to ask the person that do that uh that did it what to do with that because you know some people they get it like right here for both or some people get like both so i don't know so i don't know what you can do for both but since i have it on my left um i can't sleep on my left side but you know just letting you know so you can't sleep on the side to it heals um and ladies don't put makeup around your nose don't put makeup around your nose. So, like, so if you guys got it on the left side, like me, you can't put it on. You can't uh, try to go around it, but don't put it on there. Like, don't put it like near it or around it. Um, but yeah, so don't do that. Okay. And I'm going to show you the stuff. Show you the stuff. So. Use Q-tips to clean your nose. So, um, yeah, so if you're doing it with the soap, first start with the soap. You put the Q-tip on the soap in the water. You make sure you get all of that and then put it around it, okay? So make sure you use the Q-tips. Uh, so this is the dial soap. This is the dial soap. Let me see if you can see it. I mean, it says dial. If you can read it through the bag. It says dial. So make sure you use the dial soap. And then this is the this is the neo the neon neosporin. It's right here. This is the medicine you should put on your nose as well. Now, when you clean it, you get the Q-tip. You get the Q-tip. First, you do it with the soap. So you get the soap, you get the Q-tip. You put it in the water with the soap. You put it on there. You clean it around your nose. You clean it around the nose ring. Clean around the nose ring. Don't clean in it. Clean the nose ring, okay? Now, it is something. it is going to be something in your nose that is attached to the nose ring. But don't worry about that. Like, if it's... But if it's showing, like, if you can see it, then politely, like, put it, like, in it. Like, like put it in there. But clean around your nose ring. Don't clean in it, okay? And after you clean it with a Q-tip and a soap, on the other side of the Q-tip, make sure you put this 
on the Q-tip, on the other side of the Q-tip, and clean it around your nose as well so it can heal and it can do it, okay? So make sure you put it around your nose. Don't go inside. Put it around the nose, okay? So make sure you do that. So hopefully my advice works. Uh, comment down below if you have any more questions. Comment down below if you, you know, you agree, you understand, this, this, and that. So, yeah. So, I wanted to tell you guys about that because I was just so happy that I finally got my nose pierced. Like, I finally got it pierced. So, yeah. But, like I said, more piercings come. So, don't worry about it. Okay? So, yeah. So, yeah. Um... I really like it. I really like my nose rings. So, yeah, I hope you guys like it, too. So, yeah. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys like this video. Make sure you like or dislike. Thumbs up or thumbs down. Comment, please. And please, Pink Panthers, make sure you subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Turn on your post notifications so you can know which video, um, when my videos are coming, make sure when you hit the subscribe button, make sure you hit the, su the subscribe button. And also you hear the you hit the post notification bell by it so you can know when my next video is going to be here. And like my saying goes, let's smile, be your style. Don't worry. Be happy, okay? And follow me on Facebook at Pinky's Entertainment. This is your girl Pinky, P-I-N-K-Y. And I'm so fly. Holla at you, girl.